In lesson two, we already taught the kids about a vowel followed by a consonant is short, code it with a brief. Today we're going to teach them what happens if you have a vowel that's not followed by a consonant. Again, this is a really easy example, but it's really, really crucial to their understanding throughout the year as the skills get harder. So I show them a word like no, and I tell them, this word says no, and I want you to notice that the O says, oh, 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 and it doesn't say O oh, just because I wanted it to or just because I like the letter O. This letter O, you might notice, doesn't have anything after it. It's what we call an open vowel. And I'm going to draw an arrow after it to show there's nothing after it. It's just an open vowel. If we have an open vowel, we code it with a macron to show that there's nothing after it and the O will say its name. Oh, oh, oh. And now the rule looks like this. An open vowel is long, code it with the macron. This V also stands for vowel, even though it's not a letter O. We're going to say the same thing. An open vowel is long, code it with the macron. And all we're going to do is put an action with the macron because that's the most important feature. An open vowel is long, code it with the macron.